Hi guys, happy 4th of July weekend, this is Skip. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the preliminary on this build, which is the first thing I want to do and, and metalize the thrust tube on the, uh, just put a metallic coat in there on, on this F-16 before I install the Guniac fiery booty. Okay, and then we'll show you the installation of that and then the rest will just be a speed build, okay? So I'm going to show you how I do the metalizing for it or the uh, metal coat first kind of important that you use uh, polycrylic first with the paint that I use because this puts down a, a finish that will seal it seal the foam and present uh, prevent it from melting and bubbling or gatoring or, or bad stuff happening once I use the, the metal paint okay hold tight okay and, uh, one of the first things we want to do here guys is we want to I see there's screws on the end of the uh, nozzle so this must slide off uh, enabling you to put the uh, afterburner ring that, that they have aftermarket for this thing uh, but we're going to take this off and we're going to take the uh, the EDF out okay so hold tight and watch this just a little tiny Phillips and that removes this nozzle there's one on both sides just comes right off and it's a plastic coated not plastic nice actually thick plastic nozzle, nozzle not like uh, some of them I've seen so now I can spray this inside of this or I can do nothing to this because this actually has kind of a nice black black and kind of finish in there I might throw a little mirror coat in there and just kind of blend it but uh, for that part there we've got this open and exposed okay so let's get the uh, EDF out of here And this just takes a couple of little Allen screws. I think they're two or, or three maybe millimeter. See this one has marking is taken off of it. I've used I've used it so much. But I think it's a two two or three millimeter, two millimeter maybe, two. little dynamite uh, deals here. They spin on top and everything. These have been great. They've lasted for, my gosh. I bought these when I bought my OC15 truck like 12 years ago. And they've lasted ever since. They built all my models. I haven't had to replace them. Not yet. And sometimes you need to get the down in there and Kind of wiggle it to loosen it up a little bit. Let's see how I'm going to do this. Without breaking it. <laughs> Sometimes you have to get your hand in there and push it up. Let's see if I can do that. Well, this one's not going up very easy, guys. Sure, it's been kind of painted in there. Okay, we got it. Got it started. Now I should be able to just, just give it around with this side. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to dent the thing up getting it out. So use the plastic and then try to get in there and push up to 
to get it to do that for you. Let's not lose this thing off the end of the table, right? Okay, so we'll set this off to the side. We won't really have to paint that except for maybe the, the last edge of it, if that, but we'll still get light bleeding from here, so we'll probably still want to uh, spray this area and probably a little bit under there too. And let's see, this one here takes screws. I'm going to have to get a bigger screwdriver, so hold tight for a second here, guys. Bear with me, it's day after thanks, or day after 4th of July, and it's uh, been kind of crazy around here this morning. Okay, we're back. Right tool for the right job. And I'm wearing Dave built uh, RC, Dave's RC. Uh, this morning. Actually, I slept in it. Went saw fireworks in it last night. I shared those with you guys. What, which ones that I could. They started before I had the camera, so I only got the last part. And, uh, at least I think I got the last finale. I think. Those guys were up till about 2 or 3 in the morning down the street. So Way later than I like to stay up. something here guys to uh, to cushion this because they do have these leads taped and I'm going to need to take those off of there and I don't want to scratch up the underside of this unit the, un the under underside of this plane here so hold tight Okay, so now we got a towel here. We can kind of protect the plane a little bit. Stuffing that in there. Where I pull it out and can lay it off on the side here now a little bit. While I disconnect these wires. And you got a mile of tape on them. It's good they tape them, you know, it's not going to come apart in flight and engine die and you have no power because there's no such thing as uh, dead sticking these things in, guys. And you can try, but it's not, it doesn't usually turn out pretty, especially with full flying stabs. Okay, save your tape pieces because you're going to need those to put them back on. Unless you want to just retape them with fresh tape. Yeah, they do appear to be color coded, just yellow to yellow, red to red, black to black. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, yeah, black to black. Mm -hmm. I can't find the beginning of this one. Guys, I'm going to spare you this part here, okay? So I'll see you in a short here when I get this sucker out of here, okay? Hold tight. We all know how they come out. Okay, and then we take the EDF motor out. A little spin. It's got some nice tight windings in there. It's going to be a nice EDF. Tolerances are very nice. Maybe we'll set that off to the side because that's going to be for the installation of our burner. So what we're going to have to do now, guys, is I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to use some of this polycrylic here and I'm going to shoot the insides of the exhaust area. Any place I'm going to put paint, uh, I'm going to put the polycrylic. Okay? I'll see you in a little while. Okay, guys, now you see I've kind of 
see it's kind of glistening in there a little bit, but uh, the entire in, inside of that nozzle has been protected with uh, polycrylic. And, and then we did the front part of the engine cover. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for about an hour, and then I'm going to put the coat of paint on there. I'll show you what I use. It's just Rust-Oleum metallic. It's like a mirror finish. If you do it right, it, it just it looks incredible. See you in a short. Okay, and then just a thin little coat. See, if you don't get all the oils off of there, you're going to get fish eye. But we're not going to really care that's in the inside, so we're not doing a finish coat. Let it breathe for a couple of seconds. Let it dry, actually, and then just give it a, another little dust. But again, this is just to block out any, any light bleed through after that EDF. So I'm going to do the rest of this to the rest of the plane, and we will see you in a short. I can't hold the camera and do that at the same time. I apologize for that. Okay, guys, it looks pretty nice, right? Looks pretty good. Got a silver, silver finish going on in here. All the way up and through. And that's just ambient light from this room and it looks that bright in there. Can you imagine what that afterburner is gonna look like in there? With no bleed through on the fuselage, guys. Okay, and I did do the nozzle because after I thought about it, it's plastic. It's gonna bleed through the nozzle too. So we also did the did the nozzle. Let's see if you kind of see that that's shined up here too. Yeah, well, there we go. But yeah, I did the nozzle as well. So now we'll get it together and I will show you the process of how you put the Guniac afterburner on the back of that thing. It's a snap. Okay, and then you just simply run the wires right up and through and you're pretty much done. Okay, guys. All right, guys, we got everything out here, and we're ready to go. Uh, I've got his burner here. I just got to get this extra little bit of tape off of here. Why that camera just beeped again, I don't know. Just make sure you're recording. And plenty of battery life. Yeah, looking good. Okay. Likes to beep at me once in a while. I don't know why. Maybe it's the end of a clip or something. So, gently get get this stuff off of here. He's got hospital tape on here. It does come off real easy if you just pull it off, but uh, it usually just kind of come, comes right up and off of here. Just be careful you don't break the connection here. So, get that crap off of there. And this is what he's got. Now this is just simply going to fit over and around the wires. You've got a gap space in between here, you see. And the wires are just going to go through there, okay? Just as, like so. Run it on, up and onto the motor. Figure where it mounts. Find yourself a, a spot because you're going to mount it in there. You want the wires to be able to go down where the other wires are. So it's right there with it so you can't really miss. Pop this baby on the back of here. Just run it up flush. Okay. Now I usually like to take just a little bit of uh, uh, Guniac does CA. I take usually just a little dab of foam tack glue and just put a few dabs around there and then it slides on a little bit easier. That way afterwards when I'm done and I've got it in there I can actually reposition and adjust it to a, to a degree a little bit before that glue sets up and then it's final uh, even with the even with the uh, cinch strap on there okay so let me grab a little bit of glue and we'll get that on there uh, as well might as well show you the right uh, every way every the way I do it not necessarily the right way but it's the way I do it okay so we're back we've got a little dab of glue on here we're just going to do a little bit around the edge Very, very thin. 
don't want to cause any heat problems or anything else. And you do want to be able to take it off if you have to. That's why I like not using the CA because the foam tack, you can't remove it. It, it will just peel off if, if, uh, if you rub it hard enough. But, uh, or any other, you know, similar facsimile, the Ooglu or uh, just about any of them really with rubber based, you know, will work just fine. So slide this thing on there. Make sure of your wires. You'll see there are side markings on both of these that should line up with your slots on your on your motor as well, on your EDF fan. Pop it on there. Try to make sure it's as straight as it can. I usually get up and down and look at it around. I center it in my one eye and, and kind of move it around a little bit until it looks like it's pretty darn good. And uh, that looks that looks pretty darn good to me. So I think we'll fly with this here. I just make sure I look real accurate. I look in the very center of the light bulb, and then I look around and check the gap spaces from there, all the way around the EDF, and that tells me if this needs to be moved this way a little bit or. Just want to make sure it's perfectly centered in that exhaust tube. And I want to make sure everything's going around it and it's not restricting any flow whatsoever. That looks pretty good, guys. And it's as simple as putting a zip strip on here. And tightening it down. If you could keep the zip strip where it was supposed to be. It fell off the edge. There we go. Again, we're lined up with the edges of the, the fins in the EDF. We've got the wires coming through comfortably, not rubbing on anything. This is sitting right out the side, okay? It's all centered and stuff on there. Now, I bought a little handy tool. I didn't even know they made these until uh, Guniac told me about them. And uh, it makes life a lot easier doing these twist ties. Simply uh, lay it on the twist tie. Pull it up and through. Oops. And that, it's not supposed to happen because this is the cutter. Okay, well, I've got more twist ties. But that's not a problem. <laughs> Guniac, your tie broke. I didn't even hardly put any tension on it. Maybe I'll just go back to hand tightening. I don't know. Let me grab another tie here, guys. Be back in a second. God damn it, every time, wouldn't you know it? Try to do something right. The very first time, what happens? And of course, my ties aren't where they used to be. found a black one too. The other ones were all white. Again, make sure it's all the way on and even. And you're on those those spreadable tabs, because that's where you're going to get the compression. I'm going to try this thing one more time. There we go. See, that's nice and tight, and that's not going to go anywhere. No, pulling it tight. Another way to see if this is real nice and level too is you can usually look at the writing on the on the on the motor, and if you've got that thing, you know, off at all, you'll see it. 
and then look check the other side and you'll see if you're off one way or another too. In this case it looks like I am just a little bit. But that's why I don't use the CA because I can I can now bring this up just a tad like that. And that should be that should be perfect guys. I know you can't see my face. Hi. My face is ugly this morning. Fourth of July last night, late night. I don't drink, but I was with a lot of people that do. So I stayed up as late as they did. Surprisingly for me, I'm usually in bed by 8.30, 9 o'clock. And I stayed up till 2, 2.30, almost 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday, last night. So this morning. Woo! I feel it, but at least I'm not hungover. I feel sorry for those guys. I know they got to be feeling pain today. So that's pretty much it in a bundle in a nutshell, guys. You got this. Once that dries, I'm going to slide this unit back in, pop it down in. This wire just runs up. You can disconnect it at this point here. And your brain module, which is contained right here, this sit up in your, your uh, front cockpit. So you just got to run this one wire up the middle, get it into your cockpit, plug it back into here, and you're, you're ready to go. Then you just wire it into your throttle. And I'll show all that when it's done, when the, when the jet is done and uh, everything's in and, and ready to go. Thanks for watching for now. This has been Skip. I hope you like what I've did, done with this. I'll show you it one more time. And you'll see, make, you can decide for yourself whether you want to do this, guys. It does take extra time, but it looks a lot nicer. Um, yeah, I mean, it really does. You want to do this and then check out the back end of this thing. You know, uh, you just you see you see a big difference with uh, with the light when it's coming out through that tube. And then you notice that there's it could be right here, and you see no bleed through. That's a bright light, buddy. No bleed through whatsoever. Okay. So this has been Skip. We'll be back with the rest of the build. And that'll probably be a speed build, including the rest. And we'll get it back all together, and I'll, I'll do another feature on that. Thanks for watching for now, guys. Catch you soon. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do this, guys. I had the Pfizer shot, and uh, the second one I just had last Thursday, and it just wiped me out for the weekend. So, uh, and late, staying up late last night meant I slept late this morning. But I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm back on the mend again. And uh, the flu symptoms and stuff seem to have disappeared. The ache all over was what really got me. Is the exhaustion. Just had no energy to do even fun stuff like this. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. This is part one. We'll do part two with the speed build. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. And hope everybody was safe. Ciao for now.